I want to talk about the transformation y equals f of x minus h. And to understand what kind of transformation this gives us, let's look at an example where I graph three functions that are all related by this transformation. Notice in these two functions, I've replaced the x in root x by something else. Here x plus 4, here x minus 1. Let's start by plotting some key points for uh, y equals root x. And I've made the substitution u, uh, u for x. Um, for a reason that you'll see in a moment, but let's just write down some, uh, some numbers here. Now, I like to use perfect squares, nice numbers that are easy to take the square root of. So 0, 1, and 4 are pretty nice numbers. And the square roots are 0, 1, and 2. And so we can plot the square root of x really easily just using these three points. 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2. And here's the square root of x. All right, now let's plot this function, y equals root x plus 4. And here I make the substitution u equals x plus 4. And that means that x equals u minus 4. What that tells me, <coughs> excuse me, is that I take the u values from the square root graph and I subtract 4 from them to get my x values for this graph. So subtract 4, I get negative 4. Subtract 4, I get negative 3. Subtract 4, I get 0. But nothing happens to the y values. This is the square root of u. So I just copy these y values over, 0, 1, and 2. And let me plot these three points, negative 4, 0, negative 3, 1, and 0, 2. Negative 4, 0, negative 3, 1, and 0, 2 is right here. So notice what happened. Oh, missed it there, but this, uh, this graph has basically shifted to the left four units. Note, I had x plus 4, and the graph has shifted to the left four units. The plus 4, you might think, shifts the graph to the right. It actually shifts the graph to the left. It's the opposite of what you think. Let's take a look at another example. y equals root x minus 1. I'll make the same substitution, u equals x minus 1. And I add 1 to both sides, u plus 1 equals x. So my x values, I get by adding 1 to my u values here. So I'll add 1, and I get 1. Add 1, I get 2. <clears throat> add 1, I get 5. But this is just the square root of u. So nothing happens to the, u, to the root u values. I just copy them over, 0, 1, and 2. And here are my points, 1, 0. 2, 1, and 5, 2. 1, 0, 2, 1, and 3, 4, 5, 2. And you can see that the square root of, this is y equals root u, uh, x plus x minus 1. The x minus 1 indicates a shift to the right one unit. Again, it's counterintuitive. The x minus 1, you might think, shifts the graph to the left, but it shifts it to the right. So let's just review really quickly what this transformation does. Y equals f of x, x minus h is a horizontal shift. If h is positive, it shifts the graph to the right. Like when h was 1, we had x minus 1. The graph was shifted to the right one unit. In this instance, you can think of h as being negative 4. It's like x minus negative 4. The graph shifts to the left 4 units. That's how horizontal translation works.